Hello, here is our project as a part of WE's program 2020. Our topic is destination aware auction systems for pen retransit scheduling, and my contribution mainly focus on the swapping algorithm, random scheduling, and the term dispersion and equity value. First of all, I'm going to briefly introduce the research background. In reality, a pender transit system provides transportation service to special groups such as the elderly and handicapped. It simply gets our pickup position, the type of car we want, and the number of passengers. Together with the input destination, the system calls a car and provides us with the optimized route, expected time of the trip, as well as the time it's going to pick us. In this way, we can formulate the system into a dynamic and heterogeneous dial a ride problem. But what are these terms stand for? We call it dynamic because the system continuously generates pop-up requests from passengers and plans a new schedule each time. It also repeatedly receives requests, computes schedule, sends feedback, and follows the schedule. And for the term heterogeneous, it generally means that the system involves different types of vehicles that can be selected based on order situations. For example, we may have ambulance and vehicles for wheelchair users in the system. In order to be both passenger friendly and money efficient, what we want is an auction based panel transit system, which is destination aware and has a swapping mechanism for further improvement. Therefore, with the specified purpose, let's take a look at our detailed approaches. Very different from the strict first-in, first-out principle, the concept destination aware relates request priority to the destination of the trip, while medical care trips own the highest priority, daily issues are considered less important. With this idea in mind, we formalize our optimization object of the problem. In short, we want to minimize the gap between all the scheduled time and negotiated time. What I do here is basically introducing the term random delay time for better simulation of the reality. Since the actual time the car picks up passengers is not 100% accurate, we assume that the deviation appears as a uniform distribution with reasonable amplitude. Then in the auction part, given that requests are what vehicles desire, each active vehicle should bid for it with a value of predefined object function. As shown here, finally, the winner gets the request, ensuring that the whole system competes in an ordered manner. Here we comes to the swapping process. Every time a new request is accepted, we're going to check if any of the older unfinished requests can be assigned to a different vehicle, which benefits the whole system. In order to evaluate system's performance better, we're taking factors like dispersion value and equity value, anticipating the outcome that a swap may bring. For the dispersion value, we measure the degree of dispersion for the system by simply adding up the distance between each pair of vehicles. And for the equity value, it represents the cluster degree of vehicles around popular locations. Here we have the specified readers K, Therefore, the number of vehicles that are within those circles are considered to be equity value. In the swapping process, whenever we check a specific unfinished request that previously assigned to vehicle VI, we will first let all active vehicles bid for it with a value of object function. Then, with a list of vehicles whose object function is larger than K, we will calculate object function V2 for each vehicle in the list at the anticipated time that this specific vehicle is going to finish this request. In the animation, the vehicle that has the largest object function V2 value is going to get the request, leading to a better outcome. As a result, the experiment outcomes turns out that our schedule for dynamic systems is optimal compared to the static solver, though with similar mean, most of ride times are decreased by 30% due to the reduction of interleaving time between pickups and drop-offs. Meanwhile, higher priority scenarios have significant improvement shown in data. In the end, we would like to thank Dr. Isu Kapati, Dr. Smith, Ms. Burson, Dr. Dolan, and the RIS program for the support in this summer. 
We would also acknowledge the Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen for funding this work. Thank you.